My name is Ariana Guardiola. I teach steel structures at the School of Architecture in Valencia and I'm going to explain long span single story steel frames. First, we will see an introduction. After that, the classification of industrial building typologies and I will finish with the dimensional conditions to be taken into account. Industrial buildings refer to long span simple story steel frames subjected to moderated vertical loads and this is the important point that we have moderated vertical loads. This typology has been extensively used in the past and although the use today is rather limited because of the development of other systems they still have a significant interest for the designer. In certain cases, they can still provide satisfactory solutions from the viewpoints of functionality, economy and aesthetics, considering that the final design depends on the first cost and functionality. The main characteristic is the slenderness of the structural elements due to small values of gravitational loads and the absence of absence of horizontal slabs connecting parallel frames. Because of that, it is important to consider in the frame design first, the influence of horizontal loads, basically wind loads, and second, the bracing system, in order to guarantee the out-of-plane stability. Because in multi-story steel buildings, the existence of concrete slabs guarantees a three-dimensional behavior of the structure but is not this the case. Nowadays, this typology is also used for sport pavilions, exhibition halls, markets, etc. Therefore, it makes sense to study it as a structural typology. The most common type is the simple story rectangular structure, the one we are going to see, formed by parallel frames and orthogonal portlands to support the roof covering. Simple story steel frames can be classified into two categories. The first one, simple story frames, where it's easy to distinguish the column, and here we have different examples, and the horizontal element, trusses or beams, supporting the roofing. We have also steel portent frames with hunches at joints. Here, here are the haunches and it's not easy to distinguish between horizontal or beams and columns elements. When hot roll sections are used, haunches are usually provided at the eaves and the apex of the frame. Let's talk about dimensions. The frame span is about 20 meters. This is the frame, the one in red, and the distance between parallel frames is about 5 or 6 meters. The distance between orthogonal portlands, those in grey, depends on the roofing system. The corrugation must be orthogonal to the portlands, so the rainwater draination is this one in yellow. For small structures, the deck may span directly from one frame to another without the need of portlands. The rainwater drainage is an important point. Here we have a detail because we have to evacuate the water. Depending on the use of the building, the roofing can be designed with just a core weight steel decking, like those in the picture, or with insulated panels like this one. The shape and dimensions of the roof panels are provided by the manufacturer, including the structural specification. The corrugations, described in terms of pit, which is the distance between two crests, and depth, the height from the top of a crest to the bottom of a throat, must be orthogonal to the portlands below. Here we have an example of table from the roofing catalogue. We have the spine condition, we have the thickness or the length of the span for every situation. When the columns have to, to be designed to support a bridge crane, big columns and the corresponding foundations are needed. The use of greater cross section for columns justifies to increase the distance between parallel frames. 
this distance. 12 meters is the maximum distance and the reason is transportation restrictions. In this case, the Portland's cross section should be greater to because of this length. Here we have a bridge crane and when a bridge crane is installed in an industrial structure, the load capacity um, of the bridge crane is an additional action in the column. It will be a compression force and a small bending moment due to the eccentricity. Here we have some pictures of um, those bridge crane and here we have a drawing. To reduce the Portland's cross section, some of the frames can be supported by lateral trusses orthogonal to the primary steel frames, those one in blue. So we will have the primary uh, frame, once in red, this secondary element in blue, and then the Portland's again. Here we have columns and here there is not column. This uh, trusses in blue need a bracing system to prevent out of plane buckling and are those drawing in black. Another possibility is to introduce a secondary element orthogonal to the primary frames. We have the primary frames in red, those elements, and then we have short portlands again. The main disadvantage of this system is that as the corrugation must be orthogonal to the portlands, the slope of the roof to drain the rainwater must change. We are going to see the previous slide. This is the direction, but if we introduce this secondary element, we have to change the direction. The same form of solutions can be used for multi-bay frames. Ok, we are going to finish with a summary. First, industrial building typology refers to long span simple story steel frames subjected to moderated vertical loads. Industrial building typology can be classified into simple story frames where it's easy to distinguish the column and the horizontal element supporting the roofing and steel portal frames with haunches at joints. Useful dimensions are the frame span is about 20 meters the distance between parallel frames about 5 or 6 meters and the distance between orthogonal portlands is between 1.5 to 2.5 meters depending on the roofing system. When a bridge crane is installed in the industrial structure, bit columns and the corresponding foundation are needed. This situation justifies an increase in the distance between parallel frames. To avoid increasing the span and the cross-section of the portlands, different solutions have been shown. For my conditions, apply for multi-bay frames. Ok, that's all. Thank you for your attention.